Okay, so this exercise is called sciatic nerve flossing. The sciatic nerve is a big power cable of nerves that passes from the back through the bum here and down the leg. And so what we want to do, because we can't put our hand on the actual sciatic nerve because it's stuck inside the vertebrae, what we can do is floss it back and forth even when it's on fire, kind of like flossing, uh, taking a piece of floss and flossing your teeth up and down. And what that does is helps flush all of that guck and inflammatory molecules out of there to allow that area to heal better and also alleviate some of the symptoms. So Jen's a great example here. She does have some sciatic nerve irritation. We're going to go ahead and show you the exercise that you can do at home with your partner, spouse, or kids, and they're going to help assist you at home. So the first thing that we're going to do is have Jen laying on uh, the side, the good side, and the affected side is up. So she's getting some leg pain on the left, and what we're going to do is just hold her leg just like that. She's going to arch her back. Perfect. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring her leg forward. And you can see her hand goes up to the point where we feel resistance. So there's tension back here, there's some discomfort. If I bring her foot towards her head, she's in a little bit more discomfort. So we're going to hold that position there for about 10 seconds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a good stretch through here without taking it too far. Now we're going to bring it back the opposite direction and we're going to bend her knee and we're going to slacken everything through here. And so the floss isn't tight through here. Now Jen's going to tuck her head like a cannonball position, head towards the chest and she's going to stretch everything through there. And we're going to just gently keep our hand here and just pull back a little bit more through there. Okay, you okay? Mm -hmm. Hold that for 10 seconds. Now we're going to reverse things. She's going to extend her back to the original position through there. And now we're stretching this leg through here. You okay? Yes. Good. Stop through there. What you'll notice over time, and you can do this about 10 times, is that you'll have progressive increases in range of motion. And that means that you're doing a good thing where you're pulling that nerve out of that vertebrae. Let's take it the other direction again. And you'll notice after a few passes, you'll feel some relief. And this is opening up the hip in the front. You're doing okay? Mm -hmm. Can I take it a little further? Yeah. Great. And then we're going to bring it forward one more time here. Extend back, extend back. Tell me when I can stop. Tell me when to stop. Okay. Perfect. So discomfort there, we're able to take her a few extra degrees further, that means there's less pressure on that nerve, and then we're going to bring it back to a resting position. Okay, did great. That's sciatic nerve flossing, that's going to help alleviate some of the leg symptoms in there, and after a session like that, you can go ahead and go for a bit of a walk, rest on your back afterwards, and put some ice. Good job.